What's up? 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 Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Hey, look out. I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot. It just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? I decided to do a bonus edition, okay? Um, And it's called The Fuck This Aries Moon. Full moon is bringing in, okay, to the signs, all right? I had to check in on my babies and just get an energy update just to see where everybody is. I am still going to do the October generals. I'm a little early, so I'm going to get them damn generals popping, too, so we don't be a little late, okay? So, um, you guys, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we a little dysfunctional. We may, we don't fuss, okay? We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We do cuss, all right? We love, we enlighten, we evolve, we grow, okay? Positivity only over here, all right? So y'all, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, to the old subscribers. Y'all, we growing. We, 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 we growing, okay? I have a special um, announcement. It would apply to Cancer and Pisces. So, Scorpio, I'm not leaving y'all out because y'all y'all don't like that shit. I'm not leaving y'all out. Okay, but I am going by the views, all right? So, Cancer, for the October Generals, you guys will be first. I have been avoiding going live due to the energy vampires on YouTube. I ain't got time for this shit, so, period, point blank. I ain't got time for it. So, I've been avoiding going live. However, y'all my babies, and you worth, you know, y'all are definitely worth it. So, I'm going to go live, okay? For my Cancer, uh, 1st to 15th October Generals, I'm going live. For my Pisces, because y'all make the top three, I'm doing live for the top three signs. And so that will be um, Cancer, Aquarius, and Pisces, all right, thus far. So we rocking, okay? So fuck this Aries moon, this full moon bringing in. What's going on? What what these energies looking like, all right? So would somebody please be kind enough to timestamp this? Y'all know I hate putting y'all videos together, but I also have readings in between, okay? So I'm trying to conveniently get my shit together. I'm waiting to move, and I'm also still trying to decide on which place is perfect. I have two places in my idea, um, so I'm having to put the pilots in both places. It's interesting, okay? Plus, be up in here with this whole, you know, hotel shift. So, find a comfortable place for right now. But it's just, whoa, okay, that process. So, bear with me, all right? Thank y'all so much for kindly being patient with me, y'all. Also, um, right now, this is another reason I'm doing this video, so I ain't got to do a separate video. <laughs> but right now, um, I'm also doing a $15 off special. Um, and it's going to be for my 30 minute, 45 minute, and hour sessions only. Okay, $15 off, and that is for the next 72 hours. So it's starting today. Okay, and it's going to end. I'm gonna do fully today, fully Tuesday, fully. It's gonna end Thursday. Okay, now that's a little bit over 72 hours, but I want to make sure that I get everybody in and they're able to schedule. Okay, so make sure you go into the description below. All right, and look at the prices, and then just take $15 off, and then we rocking. All right, so we are getting into it. All right, so for my cancers, you guys will be first, then Pisces, then Scorpio. Okay, somebody please timestamp it. I love you in advance. Thank you. Right, so for my cancer, I feel like spirit is calling for you guys to be find more harmony within yourself during this time. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to find a harmony in a situation, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame situation. This person could be a fire sign. I feel like your thoughts during this time could be very, very, very not really toxic, but yeah, very obsessively toxic. You feel like you're looking at this person as if they have a lot of options. I feel like you guys maybe are not in communication but during this time during this this aries full moon energy is bringing the the one and the need to communicate okay because i feel like a lot of y'all are just stay hanging stagnant in situations feeling stuck in situations that you want to nurture you trying to be patient and trying to hold on to the idea of this person choosing you like i'm gonna get chosen and i feel like during this time overall you're needing to you're coming to terms with your shadow side, okay? And for some of y'all, I'm speaking to some of you guys with seeing how you try to hold on to situations and control situations. I'm telling you right now, y'all, during this time, y'all are waiting for people to come back. And cancer, this this person is coming back. For some of you, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is coming back. However, this person has, they don't have the staying power, baby. They have in and out energy, okay? And so don't be expecting and getting your emotions 
totally tied up into something that may not be solid during this time because I feel like some of y'all going to hurt your own feelings expecting something from a person that they really can't give you because you're not really taking the initiative to give it to yourself. Now, don't be mad. This is just how the hell I see the cards. And if you're mad, I don't give a damn. This is my shit because this is what I see. Okay? I see during this time a lot of y'all are having to conquer that wanting to hold on to everything and be patient in situations where, you know, I feel like you want to hold on to something, but you got to let this person or this energy be what it is. Because some of y'all are trying to hold on to very toxic people and stay in very toxic relationships, being patient for change to come. But however, y'all dealing with people who have not sacrificed shadow side. They have not evolved. They have not grown in order to be at the level that you at as far as love. So you first need to pull back and be able to give that love to yourself, especially if somebody that's a fire sign is reconciling. I do see Capricorn here. I see Sagittarius here. I see Pisces here. OK, but I do see some of y'all are really having to. And I also see a Leo and Aries, too. But I, some of y'all are really having to come to harmony within the self. OK, and really, really. Be honest with yourself, baby. What is it that I truly want? Okay, this Aries full moon is going to be very reflective. A lot of y'all are going to be communicating with people. And I feel like some of you guys, you're going to have people that's in your energy that's kind of leaving you on stuck, really not giving you too much clarity. I mean, they give you enough to, ha to have you feeling like it's worth sticking around for, but then you left feeling the same shit next week. Like, okay, what the hell are we doing? Okay. So I feel like a lot of y'all really need to come to terms that a lot of people that you're dealing with ain't really tech with their shadow side during this time, all right? And you're needing to put that love for yourself first, okay, before you put your expectations for what another person cannot bring you during this time first because you're going to only end up hurting yourself, all right? I love y'all. If you need a personal reading, y'all hit me up, all right? This is just general. These are not personals. So if it does not apply, let that shit fly. And we're going to keep it moving, all right? So my Pisces, so water babies, my water babies, all oh, my water babies, okay? So I have for Pisces during this time. Pisces, a lot of y'all are really, really, really going to be in a very grounded place, especially financially. A lot of y'all are finding y'all way, okay? I feel like with you being in a financial stable place during this Aries full moon period. I feel like some of y'all are going to have people from your past trying to reconcile. Some of you with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like this is the person who is indecisive as hell. They don't know what they want, which way they want to go, but they have two options, you and another. I strongly feel like if you ever have um, a fire sign coming in from your past, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like this person is expecting they want a new beginning with you. However, you're choosing for some of y'all not even to communicate with this person. Look, I'm forward. I ain't even got time for this shit. Fuck you. Okay. Some of y'all, I'm straight up hearing the energy of fuck you. I don't have time for it. You can show me who you are. I believe you. I'm going forward. If I look back, I might trip over on some shit and who got time to be following. All right. So I do feel like some of you who are indecisive about an air sign, this Aries full moon is going to bring in truth and clarity for you guys. I feel strongly that you guys will be um, possibly feeling some type of Oh, uh, this could be somebody out because y'all definitely cutting somebody out who's air or fire, okay? And you just leaving their ass out in the cold. You like, I don't have time for this shit. Go do what you do. But I feel like at the end of the day, you and this other person is really gonna feel stabbed in the back because I feel like this person is coming in, but they bringing in the same in and out ass energy. I feel strong air and fire, y'all. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Um, but I feel like. The reason why some of y'all are looking forward is because you have a new beginning possibly with Fireside, Aries, Neil Satch. And I feel like some of y'all are keeping this shit low key because you don't want nobody to fuck your shit up. All right. But during this full moon period, baby, La Luna is coming with some, they, she coming with the tea. And some of the people, some of you guys are going to have um, truth and clarity about a situation to allow you to make a decision on which way you want to go. Because I definitely feel like Pisces, some of y'all also have two options. I feel like. For some of you guys who are dealing with Pisces on Pisces, some of y'all are going to definitely find out about someone being deceptive during this time. And especially if you've been intuitively feeling to be defensive towards somebody, trust your intuition, trust yourself. Some of y'all during this time are being defensive towards the tourists due to deception or some form of secret. You know, this person got secrets and it's been bothering the hell out of you because it's eating you alive. I feel like some of y'all are dreaming about the bullshit. Some of y'all are literally having premonitions about it. Some of y'all know shit's finna go down. However, going forward, looking forward, you just see all the blessings upon you. You see all the beautiful things. You see all the opportunities. You see, you know, doors that are opening for you. So you really like, I don't have time for this shit. Either you're going to make a decision or your ass going to get left. 
period. Because I feel like some of y'all definitely have, I'm hearing Sagittarius. I'm also hearing Aries. Some of y'all have a fire sign in y'all energy, okay? And this could be a past person. This could be a person who you've been kind of literally going because the fish is swarming. Some, some of y'all could have been literally going in cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle with this person continuously taking downfalls. And I feel like with this person going with you moving forward, our communication with this person, you've been balancing your shit out. Okay, you're coming out of this defensive energy. You're able to put the burdens down. You're able to put the put the hurt, put the let that hurt go. You're able to let this shit go, and then here comes this person again. And for some of you, they're coming in the midst of you actually moving forward, possibly with another fire sign. For some of y'all, you're moving forward, possibly with the Taurus. Okay, but here comes this burdensome ass energy again, and it's just like, what you gonna do, Pisces? Okay, you're gonna swirl and swirl and swirl around and chase your damn tail, or you're gonna move forward. Okay, and trust the process and allow God to do God's job. That is the question, my babies. Okay? You need that personal, hit me up. That's what I have for my Pisces, my Pisces. All right. So we moving on to Scorpio. Let's get it. Scorpio out the gate. Out the gate. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, what, what I see here in common for all of you all, you all have a goal that you want to obtain. You have this this place that you want to be, this this strong ass light at the end of the tunnel. But some of y'all are having to tackle your shadow side in order to get there. Okay? And after you get there, like behind that door, behind that door is a door of happiness, fruitfulness, abundance. Okay? Your wish, what you want. But it's after putting that work into yourself. That's what I see mutually for all three of y'all. Okay? So we're going to get it. Scorpio. Scorpio, you're needing to communicate. Intuitively, a lot of y'all are trusting your intuition. However, you're not doing shit about it. You're not saying anything. You're keeping everything close to your chest, baby. You needed to communicate during this Aries full moon. It's going to bring in communication. A lot of y'all are going to take a leap of faith to possibly who you have children with, okay, because you want your ten of pentacles, you see that damn light shine, shine bright like a diamond, you see that damn bright, that little light shining bright, then e mother mother, and you want it so bad, but you're needing to conquer, you're needing to, some of y'all needing to have a towel moment, because some of y'all want to have y'all cake and eat it too, and you've been in your head, some of y'all ain't been sleeping, some of y'all have an air sign in your energy, okay, and this person is just, if you want to know if they stalking you, hell yeah, they are all on your Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, leaking, looking and lurking because you're not giving them that clarity. You're not giving them that full let go or someone could be doing this to you. OK, so I do see this Aries full moon is going to bring you guys a tile moment, especially if you're dealing with Scorpio and Scorpio. I do see Scorpio and Aries here. I see Scorpio uh, Taurus. I see Scorpio Pisces. I see Scorpio Libra. I see Scorpio Virgo. But strong Gemini Libra Aquarius energy as well. I, I feel like communication needs to happen. That it's not happening because you know that if so, or someone in your energy knows that if this communication happens, somebody's going to get left out. And I feel like Scorpio ultimately to other people, it may seem selfish, but I do understand the perspective of not wanting somebody to get hurt and not wanting to hurt somebody's feelings as to where you can't come back from it. But everybody's not meant to eat with you at the winning table. You got to understand that everybody ain't meant to be in your energy. Everybody ain't meant to stay in your world. People come for a reason in the season. A reason in the season. When people leave your life, okay, because man's rejection is spirit's protection, okay? So I feel like some of y'all are being called to fix family situations to close karmic cycles of past lives. And you're not understanding why all of this shit is happening? Why is this falling down? Why is that happening? Why is that happening? Because internally you're needing to heal the self. You need to face that shadow side in you that don't allow. Because I feel with, as soon as I got to everybody energy with Pisces, I strongly feel the word. If I have to use an adjective for everyone energy that I've been in thus far. With cancer, I heard the word disappointment. With Pisces, <laughs> I heard the word karmic with scorpio i'm hearing the word <laughs> uncompromising you have to be willing to compromise something sacrifice something in order to receive what it is that you want how bad do you want it 
Because for some of you all, things are not lining up the way that you want them to go because you're not communicating how you truly feel. You're keeping everything close to the chest. You're trying to feel your way through versus communicating because hell yeah, your intuition be on point. But if you're going to receive, don't allow your thoughts to get so damn cloudy that you become your worst enemy and you just assuming or you just feeling that somebody going to do you something because that's the reality that you're creating within yourself, yourself. Don't do that. Because you stand in the way of your own blessings. Continue working on yourself. Continue building. If it's a family situation that you're trying to get together, baby, continue trying to grow. Continue openly communicating. Because when I'm feeling that the person in your energy, they shut completely down when it comes to communication, Scorpio. Because that's what they're receiving. And so you can't expect something that you're not willing to give. It's only, it, it's not right. It's not fair. And whoever this person is, if this is you. You no longer have it. Some of y'all were just pretty much at this point, I ain't got shit else to lose. I'm jumping off the cliff. Some of y'all really wanted to reconcile and have a communication with an Aries person, okay? That is standing out very strong to me. Um, some of you all are truly cutting off the air sign during this time because you just feel like, I can't grow with you. We ain't going no motherfucking well. We've been doing this, and I can't grow with you. And doing so, baby, is going to leave you feeling very abundant, but you got to conquer that shadow side and let things go and understand that you cannot hold things together on a puppet down, on a puppet string, you know, just to get the outcome you want or for that matter, have a pillar of comfort to fall back on if shit don't work out in your favor with the person who you're trying to move forward with. That's the energy that I feel. But your money look good, Scorpio. Okay. So for my water babies, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I am going to be dropping them for each, um, for, you know, you guys were first, the water signs. The next signs will be the fire, the air, the earth, in that order, okay? So I love you much. I will see you guys for the October generals, all right? And y'all take care of yourself and love yourself first. Self-love, self-care, self-work, and self-reflection. Bye, babies.